Hello, my name is Mark Cruz, and in this installment of the D5 video series, I'll be going over the new autofocus and metering systems. In the stills photography installment, I went over the basics of the new system. 153 high-density AF points, 55 of which are selectable, 99 cross-type sensors, 35 of which are selectable, and an increased area coverage of 30% over the D4S. Now, let's start by looking at the continuous autofocus area modes and give a quick definition of them since many photographers who are not familiar with Nikon's advanced AF system may stick with the single AF point when tracking a moving subject when they'll actually get better results by using one of the more dynamic systems that lets the camera help out, especially if the subject is moving erratically. Group mode was introduced with the D4S and uses a diamond-shaped pattern of five points to track a subject. Think of all five points working together as a larger single point. This is great for tracking single small subjects in the frame, reducing the likelihood of the camera accidentally focusing on the background. The dynamic area modes used to be 9 point, 21 point, and 51 points on the D4S, but thanks to the higher density AF now available on the D5, it is now 25, 72, and 153 points. This means that if you're using the 25 point dynamic mode, you'll initiate focus with one AF point and the surrounding 24 points will help out if the subject strays off that initial AF point. Dynamic mode AF offers a little bit more accuracy of focus for sports such as football or subjects such as birds and trees. Why use dynamic 25 over 72 or 153? Generally, most photographers use a smaller area which gives them more control, so 25 point is a great place to start. But it all depends on how erratic your subject is moving and its size in the viewfinder with larger, more erratic moving subjects being suited for a larger number of points. 3D tracking is a very useful tracking mode which not only uses brightness, contrast, and distance information to track a subject, but color as well. That addition of color makes it incredibly accurate when tracking subjects that are quite different than the surrounding background. And with the D5, you can select whether you want the camera to use face detection when tracking in 3D, allowing the camera to be even more precise. One major added benefit of 3D tracking is the AF point initially selected is not constrained to staying in the same spot if your subject moves. This means that as your subject moves throughout the frame, you'll actually see the AF point follow it anywhere within the AF limits, allowing you to change composition mid-shot without having to redo autofocus. So now that I've talked about how Nikon's AF system works, let's look at what makes it specifically faster on the D5. First off, there's now a dedicated autofocus specific processor giving enhanced response to moving subjects, especially for subjects that tend to change directions suddenly. The dedicated processor combined with refined algorithms will improve overall subject acquisition speed and tracking performance. There's also the ability for the photographer to customize that performance based on the type of subject they're shooting. By going into the autofocus section of the custom settings menu and selecting setting A3, focus tracking with lock on, you can choose between a couple of new options. Whether your subject's movement is erratic or steady. An example of a steady subject is someone running the 100 meter dash compared with a running back in football, which is a very erratic moving subject. And how long the camera will take before switching focus to a new target think of a running back suddenly blocking the view of the quarterback. If you want the camera to instantly focus on the running back, select quick. But if you want to wait for the running back to pass, all the while staying focused on the quarterback, choose slow. Other than the dedicated AF processor, one of the other reasons the autofocus and specifically the face detection on the D5 is much more accurate is because of the brand new metering system. The D5 uses a 180,000 pixel RGB sensor up from 91,000 pixel sensor found on the D4S. That is much faster and allows smaller faces to be detected than before. So when you combine a more accurate metering sensor, a faster specific AF processor, almost triple the number of active autofocus points and more customizable options, the new D5 should be the choice for any professional photographer wanting top-of-the-line autofocus performance. 
Make sure to check out our other two videos on the new D5, one on its video capabilities and the other on its new controls and stills related features. For any other information on the D5, visit Nikon.ca.